All to date, Trina Verbeck didn't hold back. My family and what I now know is to be Mario's many countless brothers and sisters in blue hold you both equally accountable for the nightmare my family will never get to wake up from. August 19th, APD officers were responding to a robbery in Northeast Albuquerque. Three officers were shot, a fourth injured by broken glass. Mario Verbeck was critically hurt when a bullet hit his neck. Today, his wife used the incident to express frustration with the mayor and police chief. I am here to let people know that I am now your worst nightmare. You will not use my husband or the other officers as your political black backdrop. I'm not going away. I'm only getting started. Standing beside her on the steps during the news conference, another officer who was shot that day, James Eichel. He said right now he couldn't talk to the media. Trina Verbeck is. I am now the voice of all those officers and families who didn't have a voice before. So what does the police chief have to say about all this? He sent a statement that reads in part, there is no doubt that morale among officers was impacted by several issues and events over the past year and a half, from the anti-police protests in 2020 to challenges of the pandemic and the struggles resulting from the mandates by the DOJ settlement. As a result, we've lost officers to retirement or decisions to leave the profession. Those losses compounded the problem of not being fully staffed, even though we've hired hundreds of new officers. Okay, you all, the Fraternal Order of Police was also at the news conference today saying because of the agreement APD has with the Department of Justice, more officers are investigating each other as part of internal affairs than investigating crimes out on the streets. Now, that agreement was reached seven years ago, and it is still ongoing. Live downtown, I'm Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News, back to you. Nancy, thank you. A spokesman for Mayor Keller also sent a statement that reads in part, Mrs. Verbeck is understandably concerned about her husband and the safety of all officers who risk their lives to keep us safe. We have also expressed our concerns to the DOJ, the court monitors, and the federal delegation because we can't continue to improve if officers do not feel supported.